is it starting? Good morning, friends. Welcome to the farm location at BBDS. My name is Miss Emma, and today we're going to be doing some STEM activities. Um, what did you guys have for breakfast? We're going to start out with a question and see what you guys had. I had a bagel with cream cheese. So we're going to talk about STEM. What is STEM? STEM is the science, technology, engineering, and math. We like to do a lot of STEM activities here at the farm um, with the children, a lot of science experiments and different mathematics here. So today we're going to do... Say some... hi to Emma and Wyatt. Hi, Wyatt and Emma. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a great morning so far. We are going to do some activities that you should have materials that are probably laying around your house. Um, so first we're going to do one with milk. It's called exploding milk. So we're going to pour some milk into our, we just have a deep dish here, baking dish, and you're just going to line the bottom down. Hello, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Good morning. Okay. Next, you will need some food coloring. We're going to have some green, maybe do some Easter color green, and you're just going to dot your green all over the milk. Remember, you can make a design. Hello, Royce. Hi, Royce. Good morning. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. We're going to do some yellow. Got some Packers colors going here. Miss Alicia loves her Packers. Add some of that. I believe we'll add some. Let's get this one out. Some blue. And hello from Ben. Good and morning, hi, ben. Jude. Hi, Jude. And Jack and Jude too. Hi, Jack and Jude. And Ben misses Miss Emma. Oh, Ben, we miss you too. We'll hopefully see you soon. I hope you guys are having a great time at home. Okay, next we're going to do some dish soap. You can use whatever kind of dish soap you have. We have Dawn here. I just have a Q-tip soaked in dish soap. And I also have a cotton ball as well. Um, so we're going to try to create a chemical reaction with the milk and the food coloring. So what do you guys think is going to happen with the food coloring when I dip some dish soap into it? You guys can answer. You can give me a second to answer. Pour a little more dish soap in here. Hello, Miss Shelby Hi, and Miss Melissa. Oh, and Leah and Ruby. Hi, Leah and Ruby. Good morning. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready to see what happens? If you want to come up, Miss Sarah, to the screen. All right, we're going to dip some of our Q-tip into our milk, into our food coloring. Whoa, look at all those colors changing and interacting. What do you think is causing the interaction with our milk and our food coloring? We can even add a, ooh, a cotton ball. Let's see what that happens. Ooh, you see how the milk is moving away from the cotton ball and the colors? And it looks like they have slowly stopped moving. So we're going to talk about why. Let's see, yeah, see it, it all. So today we made a chemical reaction with the milk, the food coloring, and the Dawn dish soap. So the soap reacted with the milk. So the milk is trying to bond all of its fat particles into your Dawn dish soap. So the colors exploding are the ones moving out of the way. So they're moving and moving and moving so they get out of the way so that all that soap can attach to the fat of the milk that we drink. So yeah, that's a fun activity that you guys, and you can do different colors. You can also try it with water and see what happens with water um, in the vinegar or even vinegar. And you can do different, different materials and you can compare with each one of the cause and effect. So now we're gonna do Oh, I'm just gonna move a Hello, Evan, Macy, Hi. and Rishi. Hello. All right, we have another pretty cool experiment that we're gonna do as well here. So today, we're gonna make salt paintings. So this would be a simple activity to do on this gloomy, perfect day to do that because the sun's not out. So you can create a different pattern. I just already pre-made one for you guys to look at. Um, so I just used glue on the paper and then I poured just plain old table salt that you would have at your house. And then we also have some watercolors, different watercolors. Um, you can use liquid watercolor and if you don't have liquid watercolor, um, you can use food coloring and water to make your own. Um, and you can make whatever colors you choose to make. 
<clears throat> so today we're going to show you how to do that. So you're going to take some Elmer's glue or whatever glue you have and you're going to make different designs all over your paper. I'm going to make a heart and then the number four because we are at the farm which is the four location. And then next, this is the fun part, you get to pour salt all over your paper. Um, I do have it in a baking dish so that we don't make a mess as well. So we don't get it all over the floor and you just kind of sprinkle it all over, all over your paper. And you're gonna cover it like that. And then you get to lift up your paper and kind of shake it off. Shake, shake, shake it off. And we're gonna do another thin layer of salt as well. Shake, shake. And then we're gonna shake it the other way so that we get our paper nice and covered with the salt that's sticking to our glue, as you can see. Okay, next, now we're going to paint. How do you think the paint, the watercolor is going to stick with our salt? What do you think is going to happen? Can I give you a few seconds to answer here? We're going to create a chemical reaction with the water to the salt so that the salt absorbs all of the water. So it sticks to only the salt on our paper. So you can use a paintbrush. We also have an eyedropper as well. So you can use whatever materials you have at your house. Um, and so then you get to, you want to come in, paint your salt painting. And do you see how the water is sticking to the, we'll use the eyedropper too. Our water, paint color, is sticking to the salt in the glue. See? And it's absorbing all of the water. You can also use one, I made this one yesterday. Um, so this one's dry. It also works with a dry one as well that we can do. I'll swap them out here quick. And then you can dip your color. We'll use a different color. You can use your favorite color or spring colors. My favorite color is blue and purple. So I'm gonna use the blue and I'm gonna dip it on there. And Emma is loving your colors. Oh yes, we have lots of colors. What is your guys' favorite color? Let's see, and then you can use the eyedropper too. You can use a sponge or you can use even a Q-tip. That one might be a little hard, but whatever materials you guys have at home. And our watercolors, Oop, I don't want to lift it up, but it's going to drip, and they absorb into the thing, so when it dries, into our salt, so when it dries, you can hang up your pictures all around your house. You can even hang them in your window to show the neighborhood your awesome artwork. Um, we also have a fun activity that we will be doing next week. Um, in the mail, you guys will be getting a few things from us. You'll get a couple beans in the mail. In a special note, uh, this is going to be a material or an item that, or a activity that you guys can do at home um, for you guys. So these are simple materials. So a bean that will mail you, um, a baggie. All you will need is a water and a paper towel so that you guys can join in on the experiment with us at home as well. Um, so we hope that you guys enjoyed our fun activities and that you guys can create some different science experiments or artwork at home that you guys want to send in to us as well, and we will share them with all of our friends, but I hope you guys had a great time enjoying our STEM activities with me here today on the farm. And you guys have a great day and we hope to see you guys next week and join us later for our circle time with Miss Alicia and story times with our other teachers as well. So have a great day.